Yusei Fudo on Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds. Now, I know you guys have seen me. I've been in plenty of these. And I'm sure you guys are tired of seeing me, so... I decided to bring a few of my friends. First up, he played Joey Wheeler in the original series, Wayne Grayson! Wayne Grayson! What up, Providence? We also have the gentleman who played Pegasus in the original series. He was also the director of 5Ds. He directed the series. He's directing Zexel, Darren Dunstan! Oh. We have the gentleman who played Bakura in the original series. He played Bandit Keith in GX. He played Jack Atlas in 5Ds. Now, you may not know him from Yu-Gi-Oh! This gentleman played a character named Arthur Hawkins. But you might know him if you're a Sonic X fan. He played Dr. Eggman on Sonic X. Mike Pollock is here. The narrator in Pokemon as well. Now, settle down, but we managed to bring a girl along as well, finally. Easy! She played the dark magician girl. She voiced my, and she voiced the keys in 5D's Erica Schroeder! Woo! Woo! And finally, the man of the hour, the man who started it all, Yugi himself is here. Give it up for Dan Green! this live duel started, but uh, Dan, Dan just had a little something he wanted to add. It's time to duel! <laughs> All right, here we go. Get that, get the hell out of here. Uh oh. <laughs> All the cool duelists that are here today? Yeah, they're uh, they're pretty awesome. And what's even more awesome is that a lot of them play synchro monsters like Stardust Dragon. And you know, if you ask me, synchros are the best way to win tournaments. <laughs> Speaking of tournaments, cool I can't believe they didn't invite us to enter. Well, we are from the future. If we enter this tournament and change the past, we'll create a quantum time rift that could destroy the future. Maybe. But this tournament looks like it would still be worth it. Well, anyway, no use thinking about what ifs. Why don't we have a duel of our own? Sure. Sounds dirty. That sounds exciting. <laughs> I'm intrigued. What do you say we have a turbo duel? My, uh, my dual runner's parked outside. Card games on motorcycles. <laughs> uh, I don't think Rhode Island is set up for that, you say. Their speed limit is only 65. A little pathetic. <laughs> so how about a regular duel instead? All right, Akiza, you're on, and I'll go first. So let's run it! Turn one, Yusei's turn. Yusei, 4,000. Akiza, 4,000. I'll start this duel off with Nitro Synchron. Then I'll set two cards face down before ending my turn. Turn two, Akiza's turn. Yusei, 4,000. Akiza, 4,000. Your Nitro Synchron doesn't impress me compared to this. I summon Witch of the Black Rose! When I summon my 
which I get to reveal the top card on my deck. And if it's a monster card, I can add it to my hand. Well, will you look at that? It's Lord Poison. That'll come in handy later. You may have gotten one extra card, but I'm about to get two. I activate Card of Sacrifice. Since my monster in attack position is weaker than yours, I get to draw two cards. <laughs> but, like you said, That's your monster fair. is weaker than mine. That means my Witch of the Black Rose will have no problem turning your monster into scrap metal. Attack Nitro Synchron! Not so fast. I activate Scrap Iron Scarecrow! <laughs> Not only does it put the brakes on your attack, but I also get to put this trap card face down so that I can use it again later. Scrap Iron Scarecrow? Why are you using that card? You still have ten days till Halloween. <laughs> <sighs> no, you didn't. I guess I'll set one card face down and end my turn. Turn three, Yusei's turn. Yusei, 4,000. Akiza, 4,000. My move. I activate my one-for-one -one spell card. This card lets me send one monster from my hand to the graveyard to special summon a level one monster from my deck. I'm trading in my cool boat headshot for tuning wear. Next up, I summon Junk Sigra. As long as I control a tuner, I can special summon Quillboat Hedgehog from my graveyard in defense position. That's a lot of monsters in one turn. Well, actually, Akiza, I'm, I'm inviting one more to the party. I tune my level 3 Junk Synchron with my tuning wear. And by the way, when I'm Synchro Summoning, tuning wear's effect lets me treat it as a level 2 monster. From 2 come 1. And from one will come great power. Watch as they merge their might, combine their courage to synchro summon. Jump warrior! Big deal. I'm gonna send that junk warrior to the junkyard. You can try. Bad disrespect. But my tuning wear has another effect. When it's tuned to a monster, I get to draw a card. My Junk Warrior may start with 2,300 attack points, but it also gains the attack points of all level 2 or lower monsters on the field. That means it gets 300 attack points from Nitron Syn Nitro Synchron and 800 attack points from my Quillboat Hedgehog. Are you done? <laughs> Not even close. Oh. Now I'll perform a second Synchro Summon. Two in one turn? That's right. I'll tune Nitro Synchron with Quillboat Headshot to Synchro Summon Armory Arm. Next, I'll use Armory Arm's effect. I equip it onto Junk Warrior to boost its attack points by a thousand. But that's not oh, all. When the monster equipped with Armory Arm destroys your monster, you lose life points equal to the attack points of your monster. Since my Junk Warrior has 4,400 attack points, you're about to lose 4,400 life points, and that's more than you can spare. Junk Warrior, attack her Witch of the Black Rose with Scrap Fist! Magic Cylinder. <laughs> Unfortunately for you, I'm in a sharing mood. I activate Nature's Reflection! The hell does All that do? damage from your Armory Arms effect reflects right back to you. Even though I lose 2,700 life points thanks to Nature's Reflection, you'll lose the, se you'll lose the other 1,700 life points. Things didn't go exactly as you planned, did they, you say? Maybe not, but I still have the advantage. Not only do I have more life points than you, but I also have Junk Warrior with 4,400 attack points on my field, while you have nothing on yours. Well, I have something you don't have. What's that? The support of the proud. Woo! Oh, no, no. I think they're on my side, but... Nah, I think they're on my side. That's not fair. These guys aren't used to seeing a hot girl at these things. <laughs> I end my turn. Turn four. Akiza's turn. You say 2300. Akiza, 1300. My move. I summon Twilight Rose Knight. When I summon 
summon Twilight Rose Knight, I can also summon a plant monster from my hand. And I think you remember my old friend, Lord Poison. Uh-oh. Are you going to do what I think you're going to do? I don't know. What do you think I'm going to do? Well, if I tell you what I think you're going to do, will you still do what I think you're going to do? I don't know. Do you think I still will do what you think I'm going to do if you tell me what you think I'm going to do? I don't know what we're, I don't know what we're talking about anymore. <laughs> Chicks are complicated. And boys are just dense. So let me make this easy for you. I tune my Twilight Rose Knight with Lord Poison! <coughs> That's what I thought you were going to do. Yeah, right. A cold flame envelops the world, and within its blinding light, a black flower blooms. Appear, Black Rose Dragon! Woo! Prepare for complete destruction. My Black Rose Dragon destroys all cards on the field when it's synchro summoned. Oh no! My monsters are all gone! <laughs> I'll set one card face down and end my turn. Turn five. You say it's turn. You say 2300. Akiza, 1300. Even though I've lost everything, I'm not giving up. I set a card face down. Turn six. Akiza's turn. You say 2300. Akiza, 1300. I think I'll do the same and set a card face down. Turn seven. You say it's turn. You say 2300, Akiza 1300. Hey, stop copying me. I set a card face down and end my turn. <laughs> turn eight, Akiza's turn. You say 2300, Akiza 1300. Now you're copying me. I set another card face down and end my turn. Turn nine, you say his turn. Solemn Brigade. You say 2300, Akiza. 1300. Oh yeah? Well, I set another card. Just kidding. <laughs> I activate my trap card, Descending Lost Star, to revive one of my monsters. I special summon Junk Warrior in defense position. However, it loses a level, can't change battle positions, and doesn't have any defense points. Then why would you summon it? Unless... That's right. I'm going to settle down. <laughs> I'm, gonna settle. I'm gonna summon a monster everyone came here to see. I summon my level 4 tuner, Br Bry Synchron, and tuner with my level 4 jump warrior. Behold, as the cosmos creates a monster of galactic might. Behold, as I Synchro summon Stardust Dragon! Woo! Thanks to Bry Synchron's effect, my Stardust Dragon gets an extra 100 gets an extra 600 attack points this turn, bringing it up to 3,100 attack points. Stardust Dragon, attack Akiza directly with Cosmic Flare! I know you well enough that I knew you'd summon Stardust Dragon before the duel was over, so I was ready. I activate my trap card, Wicked Rebirth! I pay 800 life points to special summon a synchro monster from my graveyard. A Black Rose Dragon is the only synchro monster in your graveyard, and it's much weaker than my Stardust Dragon. That's why I'm chaining this Overdoom line. This card gives an extra 1,000 attack points to any monster that's special summoned from my graveyard. My Black Rose now has 3,400 attack points. Do you still want to attack with your measly 3,100 attack points? Uh, no thank you. I end my turn. Turn 10. Akiza's turn. You say 2300. Akiza, 500. I'm going to end this duel now. I banish Lord Poison from my graveyard to activate Mark of the Rose. Oh. This card gives me control of your Stardust Dragon during my turn. Now I'm the one with two synchro monsters. Stardust Dragon negates any destruction effect. Your face down card can't save you from my Black Rose Dragon's finishing blow. Black Rose Dragon, attack you say directly! My face down card may not help me, but this card in my hand can. I discard Swift, Swift Scarecrow to negate your attack! <laughs> and your battle phase! <laughs> Lucky break. 
sack. I set this card face down and end my so turn. Now that your turn is over, I'll take back my Stardust Dragon. Good to have you back, my friend. Turn 11. You say's turn. You say 2300. Akiza, 500. I'll discard a card from my hand to special summon the level 5 tuner, Quick Draw Synchron. Next, I summon Shield Warrior and tune it with my Quick Draw Synchron in order to Synchro Summon Jump Destroyer. Oh. When I summon my Jump Destroyer, I get to destroy one of your cards. Time to tear the petals away from your Black Rose Dragon. Not on my watch. I chain my Star Siphon. Before my Black Rose Dragon is destroyed, I get to summon a Siphon Token to protect my life points. My level 8 Siphon Token reduces your Jump Destroyer to level 1. Even if it's a level 1 monster, my Jump Destroyer Majestic still has 2,600 attack points. Now Stardust Dragon, destroy Akiza's Siphon Token! And Jump Destroyer, attack her directly and finish her! <coughs> Do you really think you've won? Do you? I think I'm in Well, if you do, you're a fool. I activate Seed of Deception. This card lets me special summon a level 2 plant monster from my hand to block your attack. I'll special summon Dark Verger in defense position. In that case, I'll destroy your Dark Verger with my Junk Destroyer and end my turn. When my Black Rose Dragon is destroyed after, after Wicked Rebirth brought it back earlier, I can special summon it during your end phase. Plus, since Overdue Mine is still on my field, my dragon once again gains an extra 1,000 attack points, making it stronger than both of your monsters. Turn 12, Akiza's turn. You say 2,300, Akiza, 500. It's my turn to draw. Ukazi. First, thanks to my Mark of the Rose, I'll take your Stardust Dragon again. Not cool. <laughs> Next, I'll equip my Black Rose Dragon with this spell card, Thorn of Malice! Oh, man. Come on, come on! Thorn of Malice! Yeah! This card gives an extra 600 attack points to my dragon for a grand total of 4,000 attack points! Woo! Black Rose good. Dragon, attack Junk Destroyer! Oh, man, this is bad. That's the first thing you've gotten right all duel. Oh. You lose 1,400 life points. But since Thorn of Malice is equipped to my monster, your monster isn't destroyed by my attack. However, your monster loses 600 attack points at the end of battle, bringing your Junk Destroyer down to 2,000 attack points. That makes it much weaker than Stardust Dragon. Stardust Dragon, attack Yusei's Junk Destroyer! I'll save my Junk Destroyer by using Shield Warrior. By banishing Shield Warrior from my graveyard, I can protect my Junk Destroyer from being destroyed. Oh, shit. You may have saved your monster, but you still lose 500 life points from the attack. You're down to just 400. I'll end my turn and give you back your Stardust Dragon. Since I've had Overdue Line on the field for two of my turns, it gets destroyed. But my Black Rose Dragon gets to keep all 4,000 of its attack points. Turn 13. That's broken. You say it's turn. You say 400. Akiza, 500. I draw. I summon Effect Baylor. Oh. I can special summon Boost Warrior. Oh! But that's not all. Behold, it's like I've seen this as before. both power and speed surge towards each other and collide to create the Synchro Tuner, Formula Synchron! Woo! When I summon Formula Synchron, I get to draw a card. You may have three Synchro Monsters on your field, oh. but none of them are as strong as my Black Rose Dragon. Maybe not yet. But that's about to change. I activate Give and Take! By giving you tuning wear from my graveyard, my Stardust Dragon gains one level, oh. bringing it up to level nine. Get ready. I tune my level two Formula Synchron with my level nine Stardust Dragon and level one Jump Destroyer! Oh, oh. oh yes! Oh, no. I summon Shooting Quasar Dragon! Attack 
points, but it can attack the same number of times as the number of monsters used to synchro summon it. That means it can attack three times. First, I'll attack and destroy the tuning wear I gave you. Next, I'll attack your Black Rose Dragon. I knew you'd eventually make a mistake. Both of our monsters have 4,000 attack points, so your monster is destroyed too. That's true, but I never make mistakes. Shooting Quasar Dragon doesn't leave the field without leaving something special behind. When shooting Quasar Dragon is destroyed, I get the special summon Shooting Star Dragon! Woo! And it looks like your field is wide open for an attack. Shooting Star Dragon, attack directly and finish this duel with Stardust Mirage! We'll see about that. You know I'm always up for a duel. Thank you very much! Thank you!